Hi, Erin from The Big Garden here, and I'm going to talk to you today about when to plant your plants this spring. There's different needs for different plants depending upon soil temperature, depending upon that last frost date, and whether or not your plants are cold hardy. And you need to think a little bit about whether or not that seed needs to go outside as a seed or as a transplant. So we'll talk about all of that in a little more detail. Let's head down to the garden. The first tool that you need to determine when you're going to plant your plants is actually your seed packet. We like botanical interest in Johnny's because they have not just this information, spacing and depth and all of that on the package, but if you look in the text, you can see the ideal and the minimum soil temperature needed for this plant. This is carrots and it's 60 to 85 degrees is ideal, but it will germinate at 45 degrees. Um, these are peas, and if you look in the text again, you'll see that they need at least 40 degrees to germinate in terms of soil temperature, but ideally they'll germinate around 60 to 80 degrees. And that just means they'll germinate a lot faster if you plant in that window. Peppers um, need an even higher soil temperature. They need 70 to 90 degrees. And we actually plant these inside on heat mats and plant them out as transplants instead of planting them directly in the ground. Okra also needs a really high soil temperature. 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. And that doesn't happen until June usually. And okra has a shorter growing season than peppers, so can be planted as a seed out in the garden. If you your seed packet doesn't have that information on it, the soil temperature, I recommend this high mowing chart, and we can look at beans in the second row, and all the way over to the right, you'll see a column that says soil temperature, and they need between 60 and 80 degrees for their soil temperature to germinate. And how do you know what your soil temperature is? Well, there's this really handy tool called a soil thermometer, and it's super easy to use. You just stick it into the ground, turn it on just like this, and then I usually wait five to 10 minutes for it to get to the correct temperature. You can walk away, perform another task, maybe weed a little bit, and then come back after five minutes and see what it says. This I left for about 10 minutes and it got all the way down to 60 degrees. And so that I was confident that that was the correct soil temperature. So that means if I go back to my chart, there's lots of things that I can plant by seed right now. Radishes, salad turnips, um, regular turnips, carrots, beets, peas, it's still time for. And some of those plants you want to plant by seed, the ones I just mentioned. And that's super easy to do. You need to know the spacing for the seed and the depth for the seed. Um, and then just, I make a, a furrow or a trench with my hand or with a tool and then just follow the instructions on the seed packet for how far to space them apart. These peas need two inches between each seed as their proper spacing. Some seeds you can plant in the ground in our climate directly in the ground. Those are direct seed plants. Some you need to plant as seedlings instead. They need a longer growing season than we have here, so we start them in trays indoors as early as January for things like herbs and peppers, but throughout the late winter and early spring we're starting seedlings. And this is just an up close. You can see the roots have grown to fill the, the container that they were in, so it's time to get these broccoli plants outside. Here we're spacing them out in the correct spot, and then it's super easy to plant them. Just dig a, a furrow, bury the bottom of the stem just a little bit to make for a sturdier plant, and make sure you water them in when you're done. And some transplants are ready to go outside right now. This broccoli is cold hardy down to about 32 degrees and even below that. Some seedlings aren't ready to go outside right now because they aren't cold hardy. And we made a calendar at the Big Garden that takes all of that into account and tells you when different things are ready to go in the ground, either as a seed 
in the middle column or as started inside and then transplanted outside, which is in the left and the rightmost column. So I definitely recommend this tool as well as a guide. It, it, you really have to look at soil temperature as well, but this is a, a nice guide for when to plant. And that's what you need to know about when to plant your plants. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will get to them as soon as I can. Happy gardening. Get out there and plant some seedlings and some seeds. Bye.